Hi everybody, I am back with a new video today and we are going to be making a dish called Elayat Bandura. Elayat Bandura translates to a tomato, a tomato skillet or a tomato saute you could say and it's really simple but it's amazingly delicious. Like it's so good, you just need a few ingredients. This is a staple in a Middle Eastern home. We'll have it often for brunch and it's just so good with some pita bread to dip in. So let me show you what you're going to need. It is very simple, literally five ingredients. So you're gonna need tomatoes and try to get really good quality tomatoes. These are from my garden. I am still harvesting some tomatoes, so I'm really Really happy about that so I'm gonna be using these and you can see that I did just a rough chop I just cut my cherry tomatoes in half um, or in quarters if you had regular tomatoes you would just chop them up uh, roughly you don't want to do it finely just a rough chop because this is gonna cook down so yeah, just like this would be perfectly fine. And then you're gonna need lots of garlic. That's gonna give so much flavor to the dish. Here I have about five garlic cloves that I just roughly chopped up as well. And then here I have a jalapeno. So this is also from my garden. I just cut it right in half. You can take out the seeds if you like um, in order to decrease the heat, but this is just going to be added to the pan and kind of sauteed with everything to just give a little bit of heat. It's not gonna overpower the meal. And then you're gonna need some olive oil. That is very important, key. So good quality olive oil, good quality tomatoes, garlic, a jalapeno for a touch of spice, and then salt and pepper. That's the only seasoning you're gonna need. So that's how simple this is gonna be, but it's gonna be so, so delicious. I cannot wait for you to try it. And then I am going to take another step and garnish it with some beautiful pine nuts so here i have some pine nuts i will toast these in some olive oil and some parsley so we could keep them whole or we could chop them up it'll just look really nice um, on top to have some fresh herbs so let's get started first thing we got to do is go over to our pan and on the stove and add some olive oil Okay, so I'm gonna add, let's see here. We're gonna do about one to two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're just gonna have this warm up a little bit. There we go, yeah, so about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're gonna add the garlic. So I'm gonna come right over there with the garlic. And we want the garlic to get a little fragrant before we add in those tomatoes, which should take no time at all, probably within a minute of everything just cooling down. I mean, heating. Okay. So let's just give this a quick stir in the olive oil. This dish reminds me a lot of my dad. He'd often make it, um, and sometimes he'd even add chopped meat in there. So you could add like a little steak in there, um, or small bits of meat like skirt steak or beef stew meat. You chop them up really small and you could even make it into a heartier meal. So my dad always did that. Um, and this is kind of just a dish that reminds me of him except I'm doing no meat I'm keeping this entirely vegan guys so this is vegan vegetarian you could see that that garlic is sizzling and I already smell that flavor just look at that now I'm going to start adding my tomatoes Let me just give this another quick stir And just be careful when you're by the stove and there's oil, you don't want to get that on yourself. So just be mindful of that. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna start adding my tomatoes to the pan. And you want a decent amount of uh, tomatoes because they are going to soften and kind of disintegrate. Um, so I would say about three large tomatoes top. Right now they look full and you know that they're not gonna get small, but trust me, this is going to change after a few minutes of cooking. So I just want this to toss together. I want all those beautiful flavors, and guys, it already smells so good. Just get tossed together, get nicely coated. Now I am going to put my jalapeno in there. So I'm just gonna put one jalapeno half. Um, to me, that is more than enough. Kind of toss that in there. Okay, if you like more heat, go ahead, add two. Like the both halves, totally up to you. And now we want to season it with salt and pepper. So you want to be quite generous with your seasoning because it's the only thing you're using, salt and pepper. Okay, you could always add more salt and pepper later, so. You could already see that the tomatoes are starting to break down. Soon they will become really tender. And honestly, it smells so good already, you guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is let it do its thing. So we want these tomatoes to kind of melt down. Um, so what we're going to do is cover it. This will quicken the cook time because of the steam. And we're just gonna leave it on medium heat. Let it, do it, let it do its thing for a few minutes. And in the meantime, let's go over here to my other little pan where I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil. Just a tad, like half a tablespoon or a teaspoon. And then we're also going to add about a quarter cup of pine nuts or less. And this is gonna add great textural garnish on top of my tomato saute. So I'm just coating it in the olive oil. I love anything mini. I think I've mentioned that before, so I love this little mini pan. And it's just gonna take a minute or so before you're gonna start hearing that toast up. I recommend you stay by this because it could burn very easily. So just keep your eye on it. It's going to change in color very shortly and then you're gonna have to make sure you keep stirring it. So keep your eye on it. You can hear that. I could see some color coming on there. You can see that I have my stove on about medium on this. And if you look over here by the tomatoes, you can see that it's starting to cook down. Gorgeous. See how it already changed color? Literally took not even a minute. So you wanna make sure that you lower your heat now. Kind of stir that together. Make sure that all sides are nicely toasted and browned. So you want to just keep stirring. You could even do slivered almonds on top. You don't have to do pine nuts. And honestly, you don't have to do anything. You could just do the tomato skillet as is. Without any of the toasted nuts on top or the parsley. So we're gonna move this over here, back into the little ramekin. I'm just gonna let it set aside and cool, and I'll be ready 
for our tomato skillet and we'll check back in in a few minutes. All right, look at this, just a few minutes and you could see that the tomatoes have become tender. But I also wanna note that you wanna keep some of them, you know, from getting too mushy. Like you can break it down, but you could also keep some kind of whole so it gives a nice textural flavor when you dip. So this is ready, literally took 10 minutes. I have this beautiful bowl right here that I'm going to place this in. Actually, let me do it this way, you guys, easier. Okay, look at that. I know there's so much steam going on right now. See all that beautiful garlic tomato here's that jalapeno right there you could take it out now or you could keep it in there just look at that so this you would typically eat with some pita bread and literally just dip it in there so now we're gonna come right over here some better lighting as well oh it smells so good okay and we're gonna add these beautifully toasted nuts and then some chopped parsley which is meant to add a fresh taste but also a fresh look and there you have it. You can enjoy this as is with some eggs on the side if you don't want to have any bread. But this is going to be so good with some pita bread, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. And please feel free to follow me on YouTube at Fufu's Kitchen. And also my Instagram is at Fufu in the Kitchen and my blog, fufuskitchen.com. See you next week.